Hello, this is yours, yours truly, Patriot of the Republic, Mike Fulmer. And this is Saturday, February 15th of 2013. Well, this video's, today's video is going to be featuring about a video that I did at on the very last day of January, which was the 30th or the 31st of 2013 which was a, just this at the end of January, the last day of January. The video was titled, Obama and Biden on Gun Control. <coughs> well, I just wanted to comment on some of the comments that were down below of that video. Uh, there were some positive and some negative comments especially the the uh, I'm going to be focusing on the negative comments that doesn't support the video some individual said it's not an order it's not an executive order it's a proposal so uh this individual is confused on how this how the press reported it it was on different news wires here in the United States and across the world the United Kingdom and so on and etc and other continents around the globe saying that uh you're truly wrong it's not an executive order it's a proposal so i'm just going to be saying you don't it, you don't know the proper the uh the proper definitions of a proposal and an order a proposal is something that's suggested an order, when it's given, well, the definition of an order, a proper order is a uh, when someone is being told a request and you have to perform that request or that order by a supervisor or whoever is immediately in charge. So that tells me you don't, you can't comprehend meanings and. In whatever news line in this country that you read or heard off the radio or seen off the uh, the television, you're believing that one particular news source or line. And it tells me that and there's other things in the video that I've touched upon on. You're uh, saying this is all propaganda. How's uh, gun control propaganda? I mean, gun control isn't all that bad. Look, you had Mao. He took the guns. You had Stalin. He took the guns. Hitler. He took the guns. And look at all the, the mass murder these uh, dictators or mass murderers committed. When government commits murder, it's considered democide. I mentioned that in the video. It seems like you didn't want to look it up. You just want to do uh, belittle me and say I'm paranoid. And this is a bunch. And you're believing all this propaganda. You are being told what to do. You are not thinking. And you know who I'm talking. And you know who you are. And you know I'm talking to you. You disrespected me. You had a lot of, uh, you were swearing. You weren't acting like a professional because you know I'm right. And I had all the, I was speaking all facts. You wanted to belittle me and swear you're not acting like a professional. And I also mentioned something else in this uh, video. If you don't have a, Jesus, the Son of God, our Lord Savior, he stated, if you don't have a sword to defend yourself, you have to find the means to do so to get a sword to defend yourself or your family or close friends and relatives. To order to get a sword to defend yourself, you must sell all your belongings. You, you, well, not all your belongings, a particular amount of your belongings so you could afford to buy a sword to defend yourself your friends, relatives, or even family. And you say that's propaganda? Our Lord Savior, Jesus Christ, the Son of God, said that. And you said that's propaganda? That tells me you are not a good Christian. And you don't read the Bible. And something else? 
that tells me I mentioned about the Constitution of the United States the US Constitution and the Pennsylvania State Constitution they don't teach it the whole properly the whole thing in schools today they only teach us small little fragments of the US Constitution and the PA State Constitution and you say that's propaganda that they don't teach us that that tells me you haven't read the US and the state Constitution of Pennsylvania at all so that just tells me you're a domestically dumbed down piece of cattle a good little goyim I'm a smart little goyim you're not a smart I'm a smart goyim you're not a smart goyim you're a domestically dumbed down dog-like animal and a good little goyim and I don't appreciate you using swear words whenever I hit whenever I tell you the whenever I explain people I give facts and most of the time I do have uh, links supporting those facts you don't even want to look into it you just you're just more concerned about your Pittsburgh Steelers and your Pittsburgh Penguins and you want to believe Barack Obama or George W Bush whoever the president may be that the economy is going to be good you're you're just believing what you want to be told they're telling you how to think the funny box the news the movies any form of media even through music you are being told what to think and you're not actually physically thinking for yourself that tells me that you're a good little domesticated dumbed down little goyim a piece of cattle I know what I'm talking about don't disrespect me don't swear at me don't swear and disrespect me but I'm also gonna urge other people that have supported me in the past through my YouTube channels my Facebook channels even my even on my space on these topics the people that have my back that agree with me that understand the real facts and where this country's heading our constitutional republic it's dying concerned patriots like myself and others that support me and understand what I understand you don't understand it because you're being told what to do Sean you don't read the Constitution that little uh, line that comment and reply that you put on the video that tells me you have you do not read the Constitution you only little know, you only know little fragments of the US Constitution and our state Constitution of Pennsylvania you don't know that much that tells me you're a domesticated little dog like good little goyim and you're not a smart goyim I'm the smart goyim I'm the one that's and when they go to uh, execute go uh, the goyim a smart goyim like me I'll be pushed in front of the line you'll be pushed in the back of the line because you're a dumb down domesticated good little goyim you'll be in the back of the line and they're gonna say oh you're gonna take a shower we're gonna clothe you and clean you you could be walking into a furnace because you're a domesticated dumb little goyim your actions your words speak louder your words speak louder and that your words are action actions they speak loud and clear that you are a domesticated dog like good little goyim and I'm not trying to insult you you show me where your intelligence level is you show me you want to believe everything that you hear off the TV that it's true and it's fact you're being told what to think get out of the matrix this you're in a tunnel like state you're in the matrix a thin narrow tunnel you're that's your paradigm you don't want to hear it 
whenever people don't want to talk to you about these issues, you're very aggressive. You don't want, you're just respecting the individual whenever they don't want to talk to you because they know, or I know, you're going to belittle me. You're going to, and you're going to make me sound like a racist. Thank you for making me sound like a racist. Then you want to cover it up and say, oh, I embarrassed you. Sorry. You shouldn't be pointing at me. No, Sean. You're a good little domesticated little dog like good little Goyim. You don't, you listen. You want to believe what you're being told. You don't want to think for yourself. I think for myself. You don't. I could determine that. By your actions, by the by your words, and by the way you act. And you come to my house, I tell you, I'm busy, I can't talk. But you're aggressive, and you want to uh, bring me down and belittle me, and don't listen. I'm, I'm busy, and I'm telling you, i got to get things done. And you're just respecting me when you do that. And you, gotta, you, and you have the nerve to use a friend that almost committed suicide, your friend Greg Morton. You used him to get to me. You don't care about your friend Greg Morton. You used him to belittle me. Who are you going to use next? Or whatever reason that you're going to use next to belittle me. You're walking down a path that's going to get you down. That's going to get you into a lot of trouble. You're ignorant. And you don't know what you're talking about. You don't want to listen to the facts. You don't even want to read the facts. To you, it's all propaganda because you believe what the funny box is telling you. You are thinking about what the funny box is telling you. You don't want to think. You're just a domestic little dog-like good little goyim. And that's the truth. That's what I see. That's what I see you as. You don't want to think. You want to act like your hero, Sean Hannity or O'Reilly. Whenever someone's right, you want to attack them. You want to belittle them. And another thing that shows you by my by your actions, you're always looking around like just in case of someone that will support me. You don't want to belittle me and, and, and put me down when there's someone that will have my back. That tells me you're a sneaky little piece of crap. And that tells me that you're a snitch. And, well, you're being domesticated. I can't do anything about that. The only person that could do that to undomesticate it yourself is you. The only way you could understand things, read the Constitution. Read our state Constitution of Pennsylvania. Your comments reflect that you don't know the Constitution and you don't read it. So that makes you, like I said just recently, you're a dumbed down, domesticated, dog like, good little goyim. You're cattle that can't think for themselves. The right to bear arms is to uh, keep this government in order. It's not, it has nothing to do with hunting. It has nothing to do with hunting. If, a government, if our government gets out of control, we the people could stand up. And do so, say something and do something when our government gets out of control. You don't believe in that. That's also self-preservation. Sean, read the Constitution. Your actions or your words in the past video, the Obama and Biden on gun control, your, your statements and your comments tell me otherwise that you never read the Constitution of the United States of America and the state Constitution of Pennsylvania. But I'm getting riled up anyway and I'm repeat, constantly repeating myself. If any patriots uh, catch this video line, I'm going to have the, Ob the Obama and Biden on gun control the name of the video and the link to that video posted down below in the definition box and also the comments the negative and positive 
comments. And uh, please, re if you want to reply to the, the positive and the negative comments, just click on the, uh, the Biden, I mean, the Obama and Biden on gun control video. Just click on it and reply to those comments. And uh, that tells me that you're supporting me. You're a, patri you're a true patriot. You're not a domesticated, dumbed-down dog like a piece of uh, cattle, a good little goyim. That you're just showing me that you're a smart goyim. And you're not a piece of cattle. And you can think for yourself. I would truly appreciate any patriots that understands what's going on and where this is going. Obama wants to take our guns. He did sign, this past summer he was with the UN, with the United Nations, with a gun treaty uh, agreement, working on that. And that, and I believe it has passed. So they could, the UN through President Barack Obama could take our right to bear arms to defend ourselves, to defend our property, which falls under the Fourth Amendment. And number one, it would also defend the First Amendment, the freedom of speech. That's why we have that Second Amendment there. So our government, if they do get out of control, which they have gone out of control some past time now for quite a few years more than a quite a few years so we could go in and restore our government and put the proper body of people to represent us we the people